Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are at part five of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Once again, there will be spoilers here. So if if you have not seen it, I suggest you go do so. It's under seven minutes. And, you know, then, then I'm going to talk about it. Okay? And for those of you that don't know, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is a faux children's program that is not for children, revolving around three main characters. Red guy, who has a mop, red mop for a head. Uh, yellow guy, who is basically human looking. And duck. And, uh, furthermore, let me remind you all that for every thousand subscribers I get, I buy one of these bracelets for the company, from the company, 4Ocean. And 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the big blue for me. So if you would be so kind as to support this channel by commenting on my videos, liking them, sharing them with your friends so that they could subscribe, I would much appreciate it. And so would the planet. I'm wondering if the next thing I should buy should be, um, they have an eating utensil set made out of wood. There's something you can talk, talk about. How about that? Anyway, so in this particular episode of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, first they notice that red guy is missing. Yellow guy and duck can't seem to get their head around it. Then, food starts talking. Starts giving them really bad dietary advice on how to get food to uh, stay in your body as opposed to leave. And they, they say eat plain, boring food like, you know, bread and white sauce and not, not fancy foods like pizza and vegetables. And they keep getting phone calls. And as they keep getting phone calls, it gets darker and darker with representations of human beings and their digestive systems getting gummed up and destroyed and Duck having visions of himself on an operating table with his guts being eaten by a giant can. And then we have Yellow Guy at the end, very close to the end of the episode, appearing, apparently having eaten duck and sitting alone and yeah we finally get a shot of, of red guy at the very end he appears on a plate then he appears walking away from a phone so it would appear as though he's the one that uh, has been calling All right. So breaking this down, there are two themes that uh, are actually food related. Now again, this is taking the episode as kind of its own thing and not part of the series, but for one thing, how much do we really know about food? I can tell you that I grew up with the food pyramid, okay? And they said that the main thing that you ate was bread. Well, the food pyramid is based on a diet for Olympic athletes who exercise four hours a day. And they need a lot more calories. All right. But even, what is a calorie? Okay. I measured the calories of a peanut in high school. What I did was there was a flask of water. You put this in an enclosure with the peanut, then you lit the peanut on fire and measured how much it raised the temperature of the water. Okay. Well, there's no fire inside your body burning up peanuts. It's acid. And whereas the chemical changes may be similar, they're not the same. So, one of the commentaries that is very true in this is that Food, how do we know it's good for us? How do we even understand? It takes a lot of research, and people lock on to these ridiculous theories. I mean, look, I know I'm no one to be, to be touting this is healthy and this is not, although I am preparing to do my research in that regard. But 
you know, that's one of those things. And then there's the, uh, the other theme of it turning your teeth, food turning your teeth and gums all gray. I don't know what does that. Smoking turns your teeth and gums yellow. But, uh, maybe this is a reference to everything appearing to both cause and stop cancer. It's a thing. Everything apparently causes cancer and makes cancer go away. It's a very confusing thing. But what are you really going to do in the end? Other than sit there being very confused and angry because you don't know how to properly take care of yourself. Now this episode offers no solution. It simply ends with the loss of another character of Duck. So now uh, Yellow Guy is alone. He is alone. It is still Father's Day, taking it back to the series. And he's still in this world, his father's house, that uh, you have to ask yourself, is the world meant to be his fictitious world created by a child? or the world created by the father, and it's hard to determine that, but the use of computers and the use of, uh, you know, characters finding themselves in different environments would imply that it is the father's world, it is the father's house. So again, this is weird. Weird is good. I very much enjoyed this, and I'd recommend it. But... It speaks to a lot of our societal problems, and, yeah, I can get behind that. I'm Richard. That's right, Randall the Rat here, and I'm back. Despite your best effort to be lazy, Richard, the owner of this channel, is still going to pay for a pound of trash to be removed from the ocean for every thousand subscribers, after he gets monetized. He's paid for two pounds. He wants to pay for more. He wants to save the ocean at no cost to you. And what do you have to do? What do you have to do, lazy, disgusting, delicious human? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. You have to like. Like this video and comment on it. And encourage people to subscribe. Randall the Rat. Could you come over? I mean, you just, you look delicious. You know, come over. Maybe don't comment on this video, because then people will know you came over, and then I'll eat you, and they'll know. Mmm. Haven't had human in a while.